Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Moshe bringing you guys another video. Welcome to Tech Tuesday. It's a new series on my channel, you guys, for a lot of you guys out there that want to go big and go pro on YouTube. Um, uploading videos and be the next Pewdie PewDiePie or someone big. I don't know who you guys' favorite YouTuber is, but we're going to go over Xbox and PlayStation and Wii U, how to record off of your system and get your webcam in the video. As you guys saw from the title, that's why you clicked on this video, kind of obvious. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it, you guys. If you guys open up Safari, now I have a Mac, so if you have a PC, it's pretty much the same exact thing, just different downloads, it's, it's pretty basic. But just go to Safari. This is my channel for those of you guys that didn't know. I mean, for I mean, I guess for you new people out there, just go to Google, search up um, Elgato 60 download, enter. And click the first link that pops up. Or if you guys have ads, don't click the ad. Just click the Elgato link. And then here you got the download and support uh, page of Elgato. Um, now you got the Windows version, which if you guys have PC, go ahead and download this. Now for those of you out there that have Macs, and it's a lot harder to do anything on Mac when it comes to gaming because Macs suck when it comes to gaming, I suggest getting a PC, but that's my opinion. But I have a Mac, so let's go over the Mac. For those of you guys out there that have a Mac, I say Mac a lot, but let's go over the Mac. So I suggest getting, now they have the normal version and then they have the beta. You guys cannot get the webcam in your video unless you have the beta. So go ahead and click on the beta version and then it'll come down here in a little downloads. It'll take a little bit and then it should, it should notify you. Yeah, see right there, it notified you that it finished. You have GCHDN. You guys see how many times I downloaded it because I've made so many videos trying to do this and I messed up like six times in the video. But that's not what matters, just click it, single click, It'll open up and it's pretty pretty basic on how to download. If you guys never download an application on the Mac, it's probably your mom's computer and you should not be downloading things without asking for her permission. So it's up to you guys, but just go ahead and drag it over to applications and it's pretty simple. I'm not going to do it because um, there's no reason to do it twice because I have it downloaded already. But once you download it, guys, um, it's, good. it's not going to be on your sidebar like it is on mine. I'm going to show you guys how to do it real quick. Go to applications and come over to the game capture AC, click it and drag it right over here to this system but um and then it'll just add to your docs automatically you could just click it and it'll be there just like that now i'm gonna show you guys how to get everything set up for the webcam and i'm gonna show you the best quality and all that how to get your your com commentary and everything so it's gonna be a little laggy when you first start up but it'll it'll straighten out and it'll be, you won't actually see these stream commands down here. It'll be just like this. You won't see any of this. Like, this will all be blank. But we're not going over live streaming, so I'm going to cover that. And these tags don't matter. The editing, I'll show you guys a little bit about that in a little bit. But first, let's go over the settings. Right here, you have your Elgato Game Capture HD60. It tells you what you're recording at so far. Come click on these tools right here. Click it once. And then just worry about capture. Whatever system you're playing on, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Wii U, iPad, whatever it is. Click on it. HDMI input, it'll usually be HDMI for the best quality you want, HDMI. And then keep it on standard. Now, do not go to standard or mobile. I suggest keeping it at HD. If you guys have a good computer, go for 1080. If you have an all right computer, go for 720. I'm gonna go for 1080 for those of you out there that have good computers. And um, if you, once again, if your computer's slow, don't go for 60 frames per second. Now it is a plus. But I don't suggest doing it if your computer can't keep up with it. So I'm going to keep it on because my computer can't keep up with it. And then same with the quality. Whatever your computer can handle, go for it. Now, I'll tell you guys my specs in a little bit. Actually, I'll show you guys my specs right now. About this Mac, um, I'll just block out the serial number. But right here, we have the OS X Yosemite, or I don't know how to say it. It's the late Mac Mini 2012, which is the best version you can get. Because all the other versions are only dual core processors. This is a quad core processor. Um, I have a 2.6 gigahertz Intel Core i7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, uh, Macintosh HD, and Intel HD Graphics 4000. Um, this is a double monitor setup, so I have two monitors. The storage, once again, I have a external one gig or one terabyte, um, and then this will be the the RAM support and service none of that really matters but yeah that's my guy that's my specs you guys so for those of you guys that are curious on how good of a computer i have that's what you kind of need if you want to run 1080 and 60 frames per second now let's go to the game audio you guys see this game audio right here we'll go to create a class if we click on that this is the game audio that you guys will hear like gunshots and stuff like that so pretty much 
that right there. You see how it's making... You guys didn't hear anything because I have it muted, but... Now you guys should hear it. And you see the little green bars? It tells you how loud it is. If you shoot a grenade, it won't be as loud, but your gun is loud as a motherfucker. And punching isn't as loud. Now, I can hit this mute button, and if your computer's just making too much noise, and like your, your mic's picking up the gameplay because you want to record the game audio, you guys are going to be like, yo... I don't want that game audio. You just hit this mute button, and as you guys can tell, you guys can't hear a single thing. Because it's not playing off of my speakers on my computer. It's just muted. But the, the what's it called? The program, the software, it, it, as you guys can see, even though you have it muted on your computer, it'll still pick up the gunshots and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty good. But I'm going to try and not stay too long on one section. Um, now let's go to the commentary. You guys over here, this is the game pretty much where you talk, what you... What commentates over the game volume, this is how loud it's going to be. I suggest checking off this box. It'll reduce the game sound so it's not like whenever you're in a huge gunfight and you're talking, people can hear you because it'll lower the game volume and raise your, your voice. Now, click on whatever, whatever mic you guys have. Go ahead and click on it. I'm using my Yeti stereo microphone, so that's the one I'm going to use. And then when you guys come over here, you guys can click on this. And you guys might see this little box right here. It's because people are texting me and my phone gets notifications. So I just blocked out that part of it. I'm sorry, guys. People were just texting me at the wrong time. I just don't want none of their numbers getting out in the public. So that's why that happened. But let's, let's forget about that. Just click on the commentary. And that's what you, you guys need this. You guys need this on. Um, all right, everything's still recording. You need this on in order to hear, as you guys can see, it's moving as I talk. One. Two, three, four. Because it's it's gonna it's it's my microphone that's picking up the sound. Now your game volume will be able will to be pick able up to the, pick game up the game shot or the shot or the shots, shots and your voice, and your at, the voice at the same time. Um, 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 you guys won't be able to hear my voice because you'll only hear it when you finish. Now once you have that checked off, come over here to get the webcam. This is the biggest part. This is the whole reason a lot of you guys came to it is because you wanted to see how to get the webcam in the Elgato system. Click it and then you have all these different slides you can use. You have this one, you, could, you can add like layouts and stuff like that. But we're just going to go over the basics, add the webcam. We'll do everything else in another video, live streaming, all that stuff. But as you guys can see... Alright you guys, I'm sorry to cut you off real quick, but um, it seems like whenever I recorded the webcam or I was recording this, because I clicked on webcam, it ended up messing up the audio on the green screen. So I got to pretty much redo it, but I'm going to go over the steps for you guys. I don't want to make it too complicated and explain what happened. But this problem will not happen to you guys. It's because I'm recording and trying to show you guys. So my CPU was just overloading and I guess it ended up messing up or something like that. But let's get right into uh, the video for you guys. So as you guys can see, you have the webcam. All you got to do is click the little white lines that are going down there or across it. And that's pretty much what you use to adjust the, the, the size of your webcam. Uh, it might take a few clicks in order to get the right spot, but once you click right on the, the money, man, it, you just size it whatever you want and move it to wherever you want, and that's how easy it is. Um, and then just hit record, and then there you guys have it. It shows the time, how long you've been recording, and you're ready to go, man. It's recording, and all you got to go is do your editing software and just upload it, you know? I'll, I'll show you guys how to upload on Final Cut Pro. I'll do Final Cut Pro tips and stuff like that. But uh, right now, I just wanted to go over the basics and how to get the webcam up and stuff like that. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys can give this video a thumbs up, man. It'll show support that you guys like Tech Tuesdays. And I will be back every Tuesday if we get enough likes. And we will pretty much show you guys how to get the quality that you need to become a pro. Not a pro, but a big YouTuber. You know, everyone's uploading videos these days. Um, so you guys got to make sure you upload them with quality, good quality. It's quality that counts, not the quantity. Uh, but quantity is a big thing too. I'll go over that in a different video. But tomorrow's video or next Tuesday's video, I'll see you guys then. It's going to be going over how to live stream. But I'll see you guys next Tuesday or in tomorrow's gameplay. Peace. I saw that kid. Oh, there's two of them here. There we go, baby. That's how you started off, man. With the four piece. Mm, they're not going A. Not with me watching it, man. That was 